there and yes thank you so much for clicking again this video and yes my name is teacher cj or cj sam and we are going to study about music for grade 8 third quarter lesson so we are going to start with of course lesson number one music of south asia and middle east india and israel but for today we are going to learn or we are going to study one country only okay so let us have the content standard first for the content standard the learner demonstrates an understanding of common and distinct musical characteristics of south asia and middle east for the performance standard the learner performs south asia in the Middle East, music with appropriate pitch, rhythm, expression, and style. Okay, for the learning competencies, number one, listens perceptively to music of South Asia and the Middle East, M-U-8-W-S-3-A-H-2. Number two, analyzes musical elements of selected songs and instrumental pieces heard and perform MU8WS3CH4. For the objectives, number one, explain the geographical, historical, and cultural background of India. Number two, distinguish the types of music in India. Number three, analyze musical elements of selected songs and instrumental pieces heard and performed. Are you ready? okay so let's get it on <laughs> so let us have this flag first do you know which country this flag belongs to yes if your answer is india then you're correct <laughs> okay so this is an indian flag and of course we have here the map of india so let's talk about india more okay so the capital of india is do you know what is the capital of india okay if your answer is new delhi then again you are correct wow okay next one the largest city so look at the picture oh i know that you cannot read because the letters are too small but do you know which of these cities is the largest okay the largest city is mumbai okay and how about the official language if here in the philippines our official language is tagalog in south korea their official language is korean how about in india okay if your answer is hindi then you are correct again wow good job now let's continue so let's talk about india more so india is the largest country in south asia so look at the picture okay so as you can see here here's the map of south asian countries and we have afghanistan pakistan nepal okay bhutan bangladesh sri lanka and of course india which is the color blue and again india is the largest country in south asia okay now the music of india reflects different aspects of asian culture through its timbre rhythm melody texture form and style okay and do you know this girl <laughs> okay do you have any idea who this one is okay so her name is saraswati and she is the goddess of music and knowledge in the indian tradition do you know the instrument she is playing in the picture okay so if your answer is guitar then sorry but you are not correct <laughs> okay so we are going to learn about this instrument later but first let us talk about the traditional music of india in india we have or they have two 
types of traditional music. So the first one is the what they call Carnatic music, and the second one is the Hindustani Vedic music or Hindustani music. So what is the difference between the two? Okay, Carnatic music is a system of music associated with the southern part of Indian subcontinent, while Hindustani Vedic music or Hindustani music is associated with North India and is deeply influenced by Persian and Islamic music system. Okay, now we have here Carnatic music. So again, Carnatic music, yes, associated with the southern part of Indian subcontinent. So let's talk about Carnatic music more. Okay, Carnatic music is also called temple music. Why? Because Carnatic music is directed to a Hindu god. Okay, then compositions or Carnatic music compositions called Kriti are devotional songs. The main emphasis in Carnatic music is on vocal music. Most compositions are written to be sung. And even when played on instruments, they are meant to be performed in gayaki or, in another word, singing style. Okay? And then instruments most commonly used are the vina, mridangam, kanjira, and violin. So let's talk about these four instruments first. Okay, we have here the vina. Okay, the vina comp Prices a family of chordophone instruments from the Indian subcontinent. Can you still remember the last time we talked about chordophones, earphones, membranophones? Okay, so what is the meaning again of chordophones? Anyone? <laughs> okay, chordophones means stringed instruments. Very good. Chordophones or types of instruments which produce sounds through the vibration of strings okay like guitars violins okay and vina of course okay is an example this one is an example of chordophone okay now ancient musical instruments evolved into many variations such as lutes zithers and art harps the many regional designs have different names for this, such as the Rudra, Rudra Vina, the Saraswati Vina, the Vigit, Vigitra Vina, and others. Okay, as you can notice, the second the second name, Saraswati Vina. Can you still remember Saraswati? Yes, very good. Saraswati is the goddess of music and knowledge in India. Okay, so as you can see, again, let's go back to the picture. Okay, let's look at the picture again. So in this picture, I ask you what instrument she is playing in this picture, right? Okay, the correct answer is Vina. Okay, a chordophone instrument and called Vina. That's why, okay, in southern part of India, they have the another type of vina that they call Saraswati vina. It's because of Saraswati. Okay, now let's move on. So now I will show you how vina is played. Of course, I don't have vina here and I will just show you a video, a short part or clip of this video. But of course, there's the link below the source where I got this video and you can watch it full video there okay so this is Vina uh, this is Vina as you can see it's big <laughs> okay and this is how it can be played okay so it's just like guitar right Uh, 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, Vina has strings and it is played through blocking. Okay, next. Okay, the next one that we have here for, for Carnatic music is Mridangam. Okay, Mridangam is a percussion instrument. Can you still remember percussion instrument? What is the another word or another name for percussion instrument? Yes, very good. Membranophones. Okay, so the percussion instruments or membranophones produce sounds through tapping. Okay, when you tap them. Okay, so again, mridangam is a percussion instrument of ancient origin. It is the prim primary rhythmic accompaniment in a Carnatic music ensemble. So let's see how it is played. Again, there is the video resource, so you can just look at the full video, and I will put the link below. Okay, but first I will let you listen a little, just a little. Okay, so again, um, this one, this is a kind of drum, two-headed drum. So there, you can tap it here, okay, and then here, okay, to produce sound. Okay, so that's how you play this mri dangam. Sorry for this one. This is just a typo. So this is mri dangam. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one we have here a kanjira. Kanjira is just like a tambourine. Here in the Philippines, we have tambourine. Do you know what tambourine is? Okay, so the kanjira is a frame drum of South India. It consists of a skin usually made of iguana, iguana skin, stretched and pasted on a circular wooden frame. Okay. Now this is how you play kanjira. Okay. Again. Okay, so they have different ways of producing sounds through kanjira, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, so they, they usually um, wet, they usually wet this with water, okay, to, um, to differ the pitch of the sound or differ the sound of kanjira okay that's it so you can watch the full video here in this link below okay next of course you already know this one violin right we also have here in uh, we also have this here in the philippines violin Okay, so of course you already know how to play violin, but let us see. This is an ensemble of tabla. We are going to learn about this later and the violin. Okay, so do you distinguish or can you distinguish the sound of the violin and the sound of tabla? Okay, there you go. Again, you can watch the full video here below. Okay, so that's all for the Carnatic music instrument. So later we are going to learn more about um, other Indian musical instruments or other musical Indian instruments. Now, but this time we are going to listen to Kriti. They have a lot of Kriti. Kriti is a kind of Carnatic music and I will let you listen to this one.
Okay, as you can notice, that's it, um that's just like a little of chanting, okay, or vocal singing only. But in other renditions, they also put instruments. So it can be with instruments. It can be without instruments. Okay. Okay, the title actually or this kriti is called Balagopala. Balagopala in Bairabi Ragam. Okay, it is actually a signature composition by Sri Muthuswami. Okay, in praise of Lord Rajagopala of Manargudi in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so of course, they are difficult words and names to pronounce. But in Hindi, or again, in India, this Carnatic music or Kriti, again, is a temple music. So, this one is also directed to their god. Okay, again, this Kriti Balagopala is a signature composition in praise of their god, Rahagopala, of Manar Gudi in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so let's see if we can... Um, get some translation of the lyrics here. Okay, so this Balagopala, it means hey, child Krishna Gopala okay uh, protect me. So he is, or the composer is asking for protection from Krishna. Okay. And then the other one says, Hey Hari, the protector of devotees and the endless ocean of grace. So that's the meaning of this. But anyway, um, you can watch the full video on the link below. I'll paste the link below. Okay, can you hear some instruments playing? Yes. So, vocal music can be also sung with instruments or can be accompanied with instruments. Next. Okay, now let's move on to Hindustani music. Okay, Hindustani music. Again, can you still remember? Hindustani music associated with the music from northern India. Okay, and it places more emphasis on improvisation or improvisation of exploring all aspects of raga. When we say raga, that is about melody or a melodic pattern. Okay, while Carnatic music is primarily composition based. Okay, when we say Carnatic music, it's composition based with lyrics. Okay, written to be sung. But Hindustani music, the emphasis is on improvisation or exploring all aspects of raga, the melodic pattern. Later, we are going to learn why or how it's, it differs from Carnatic music. Okay, the central notion in both these systems is that of a melodic musical mode or raga. Again, the melodic pattern or melodic musical mode. We call that raga or they call that raga. Sung to a rhythmic cycle or tala. Tala, in their, in their term, it means their rhythmic pattern or rhythmic cycle. Like here in the Philippines or in our rhythmic pattern, we clap. Right? Or meter. Like 2-4. Okay, we have 2-4, 3-4. Four, four, right? So, they also have that, but they call that tala. Okay, the most common style of singing is called kial. A while ago, we learned in Carnatic music, okay, their most common form of or style of singing is kriti. Here, in Hindustani music, their most common style of singing is kial. A word which means imagination. Or, in another word, when they say kial, okay, um, the singer or the composer expresses the emotion 
freely. Okay? A more imaginative, more creative. Okay? Instruments commonly used include sitar, sarod, tambura, chenai, sarangi, and tabla. So, six common instruments used in Hindustani music. So, let's learn about them. Okay, so here's the first one, sitar. Sitar is a chordophone instrument, right? Okay, so the sitar is a plucked string instrument originating from the Indian subcontinent used in Hindustani classical music. Okay, sitar, let's listen to that. Okay, so that's how you play sitar. Okay, it's like just a guitar and um, using the strings to produce sound and then pluck okay, through your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you can watch the full video uh, using the link below. Next, we have sarod. Okay, the sarod is a plucked string instrument with a skin-covered resonator and sympathetic strings. Like the sitar, it is primarily used in Hindustani music and is accompanied by the tabla. So, it is accompanied or it is played with tabla, another instrument that we are going to learn also later. Okay, let's see how it's played okay it's something like it sounds like a little bass right but let's look at that again okay so as you can see maybe he's holding here a little pick okay not just finger but pick to strum Okay, or to pluck the string to produce sound, okay? There you go. And then another instrument called gatam. We are going to learn about that later. And another instrument also. Okay. And then here we have the tabla. Yeah, there you go. This is the tabla. Okay. So it's like an ensemble or... Yeah, accompanied by different instruments. Next. Okay, we have here tambura. The tambura is a long stringed instrument made of light hollow wood okay, with either a wooden or a gourd resonator. It is typically used in accompaniment with other instruments providing a drone pitch. Okay, so typically used not in a solo musical uh, musical or instrumental music but uh, accompanied or use it, used to accompany other instruments okay so let's see how it's played okay so she just uses her fingers to pluck the strings Okay, so again, you can watch this full video on the link below. Now, next, let's move on to the next one. So, we have another Indian musical instrument, Shanai. The Shanai is a musical instrument originating from the Indian subcontinent. Also, it is made of wood with a double reed at one end and a metal or wooden flared bell at the other end. Okay, double read here, and then here, wooden flared bell. Okay, so let's see how this one sounds. Okay, what kind of instrument this one is? Is it a portophone? Membranophone? Electrophone? Ediophone? Airphone. 
if your answer is aerophone, then that's correct. Because this one is a kind of wind instrument. Aerophones or wind instruments are instruments that produce sounds when blown. Okay, so let's continue listening. Okay, so that's how you play that. You blew wind onto it. Okay, next. Okay, so we have here sarangi. Okay, it sounds like sarang hey, <laughs> from Korean dramas, which means I love you. Okay, sarangi or sarangi is a bold string instrument with a skin covered resonator. The typical sarangi is made by hand, usually from a single block of tone wood, about 66 to 69 centimeters long. So it's like big violin. Okay, it's like a fat violin. Okay, let's continue. Let's listen and let's look at how it's played. Okay, so see, it's like a big bigger violin okay there you go so again you can watch the video the full video on the link below okay let's continue and here we have the next one or the last one for this Carnatic music instrument or Hindustani or Hindustani musical instrument. So we have here tabla. A tabla is a pair of twin hand drums. Okay, you tap by hands from the Indian subcontinent. Okay, of course you already know, I guess, how to play that or how to play them, but let's still see. Okay, we have here a group of students playing. Okay, just like a normal drum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you play tabla and that's how big they are. Okay, there you go. So those are the six musical instruments. Now let us move on to the this one. Okay, so I am going to let you listen to Hindustani music. So again, Hindustani music or Kayal. Okay, Kayal is the most common Hindustani music that they have. Okay, and Kayal again comes from the word which means imagination. And usually Kayal also, if I'm not mistaken, they're romantic singing. Okay, so usually um, they sing this Okay, um, about love or expression of emotions, expression of love to someone. Okay, so we have here again Hindustani classical example, Bada Raya. Let, let's try to listen. Okay, what instrument this one is? Very good, Tabla. Okay, so you can watch the full video again anyway. Uh, but again, this one, as you can notice, it's a little emotional. Or um, if you listen to this whole video, then you can find this music or Kyle music emotional, imaginative, creative. Okay, especially if you can understand the lyrics. You can... Um, you can really feel the music or the song. Okay, next, as I told you, we have, they have a lot of Indian musical instruments. So those, the first that we discussed, those are just the most commonly used. But again, they have a lot of Indian musical instruments. So we have, uh, they have gata. It is a large clay pot with a narrow mouth and one of the most asian percussion instruments of south india and actually they put water into it 
okay, to change the pitch or the sound, okay? And then, kartal. Kartal, it comes from the Hindi word kara, which means hand, and tala, which means clapping, okay? And produces a clinking sound when clapped together, okay? And then, the next one, manjira, hand symbol or manjira is a traditional percussion or hand percussion instrument of India. Again, when we say percussion, tapped. Okay. And then daft. It is a large frame drum from the Middle East. Okay. The frame is made of wood and covered with a lot of metal rings attached around it. The membrane is mostly made of animal skin, like a goat, horse, and cow, but in Modern version synthetic materials are also in use. Okay, next we have doll. Okay, they also have doll, and doll can refer to any one of a number of similar types of double headed drum widely used with regional variations throughout the Indian subcontinent. And then they have bansuri. A bansuri is a side blown flute originating from the Indian subcontinent. So bansuri is a type of wind instrument. Okay, and then shank. Okay, so this one is quite cute. <laughs> shank is a wind instrument made of conch shell used in religious ceremonies. This instrument is found in Orissa, an instrument with limited musical applications. Shank is considered to be immense of immense religious importance in Hinduism. So it is usually used only in religious um, religious celebrations or um, just have um, limited limited only to religious celebrations or religious ritual or something like that. And then Sarpati. The Sarpati also called Swarpati. Swarpati, 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 Swarpati. Okay, Sharuti box or Sharuti box is an Indian drone instrument. It is a small box whose only function is to provide the drone. Okay, next go to Vadyam. As you can see here, we have got to Vadyam. What can you notice? Yes, very good. It looks like Vina. Okay, the Gotovadyam is a staple instrument of a Karnatak, Karnatak or Carnatic music tradition of India. It is similar to the Vina in appearance. It looks the same and also sound. However, its fingerboard is not fretted. This one, not fretted. It has a pear shaped wooden body, six main strings, and as many as 13 sympathetic strings. When we say sympathetic, underlying strings. Okay, and then ektara. It is a simple folk instrument and is used to provide both a drone as well as simple rhythmic accompaniment to folk songs. Okay, other Indian musical instruments, again, we have Gopic Hand. In origin, the Gopic Hand was a regular string instrument of wandering birds and mistrels from India and is plucked with only one finger, okay? And then Rabab, 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 or Rabab is a lute-like musical instrument originating from Afghanistan up in India and is one of the national musical instruments of Afghanistan and other areas inhabited by the Pashtun and Baloch people. Okay, and then we have here Banam. So this one is like a bow, right? <laughs> An arrow. Okay, Banam, a violin-like instrument. So you can play this one as just you play violin. Okay, is one of the traditional instruments of the Santal tribal community of Central India. Chikara, it is a simple spike fiddle played similarly to the sarangi or sarinda, yes, by sliding finger nails on the string rather than pressing them to touch the fingerboards. It only has three strings. Okay, these are, there you go. So that's it for today. But before we end this video lesson or this lesson, so I have here at least I think five pictures and you're going to name them. Are you ready? I'll give you 10 seconds to, to think. <laughs> 
of naming the picture. So let's start with the first one. What do you call this instrument? With a flare bear. Okay. There you go. If your answer is Shanai, good job. Okay, next. How about this one? Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. Very good if your answer is tabla. Let's see. Nina. Okay. Next one. Oh, there you go. Who do you think this one is? Can you still remember her name? If your answer is Saraswati, then you are correct. Very good. Okay. Do you... Did you get four answers correct? <laughs> okay, so then thank you so much for today. Again, my name is Teacher CJ or CJ Sam. And thank you so much for clicking this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get updated whenever I upload educational videos like this. Thank you so much and see you next time and don't forget to learn while having fun. Goodbye.